Hey beauties, today I wanna to talk about a really easy tip to help you manage your proper food combining. And I know a lot of you write in and ask me questions about food combining and some of you have said sometimes it can feel confusing or there's a lot of different rules, but I just want you beauties to realize that the heart of proper food combining is just paying attention to the order and the combinations that we're eating foods to help with better digestion. And the very heart of food combining has to do with making it easier for our bodies to digest our meals. So keeping meals as simple and easy as possible to digest. So that's the overall umbrella. And again, I'll just say from a general standpoint, um, simplify your meals, have fewer components, eat more of them, eat lots of veggies and like one or two heavier items. Um, this is really the heart again of food combining is just to make it easier for our bodies. But there is one simple tip that I want you guys to keep in mind, um, and I've noticed it a lot with the holiday events and dishes and things around, and this has to do with nuts. Now, nuts combine as a protein. Nuts are very hard, very dense foods that are wonderful. They do have lots of minerals, lots of beauty, fat, uh, protein. They are fantastic for us, but they are dense. So one thing, one um, improper food combining, um, you know, just sort of, I don't want to say it's wrong, but one thing that happens um, involving nuts from a food combining perspective is throwing nuts and seeds on top of, that, on top of all these different dishes, especially ones that contain um, dense starches like rice or um, quinoa, for instance, or pastas. Um, when you're doing that, that can induce a lot of bloating because the starches combine well with vegetables, lots of herbs, and the nuts combine better with vegetables as well. Remember, just because they're plant-based, they're still very dense and hard. So what we don't wanna do is throw it on top of everything. So remember with nuts, chew them well, soak them, sprout them, depending on the nut, if possible. You can also buy sprouted nuts for a little bit of a higher cost at the grocery store. Um, you can make dips out of them, you can blend them, um, you can have them with veggies. For instance, almond butter on celery sticks is great, um, or almonds on an all green salad is great, but avoid throwing them on your rice, quinoa, millet, um, grainy dishes. And that is just an easy way, um, as far as nuts are concerned, to um, differentiate proper food combining. So I hope you guys incorporate this tip. Let me know how you do. Let me know other questions that you have. I'll be sending lots more tips and ideas your way. So keep the questions coming because I love to hear what you guys are thinking. So in the meantime, sending you guys so much love. Take great care. Enjoy this week. Enjoy this day. And I'll see you back here very soon. Lots of love.